Alright everybody, I'm back. I know you've been wondering, where is Jackie? Where is she? Last time we heard from her, she was buying a house. Well, if you can tell by the title, I have some updates about the whole house situation. And as you can see, my background has not changed. So, let's get into the story, shall we? Um, And this video is going to be a stream of updates like I have been going through a lot changing a lot um, trying to figure out trying to plan what my year is going to look like um, so I'm just going to start with the house update in, in this video and then I'm going to mention a, a couple of other things and then there will be another update video so you can say to be continued but first, I want to say in my absence, I want to thank all my subscribers for being so um, loyal. You know, uh, my and actually I want to thank all the new subscribers for subscribing to my channel. And I haven't been active in a couple of weeks. So I just want to thank you all because you don't have to, but I appreciate it that you do. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and talk about it. The last time I made a video, I did like I think a, a thrift haul of Christmas decorations that I wanted to put into my home. And every time I say that, it just kind of pisses me off. I'm sorry. So let me get into the story of what happened. Um, I was going through a program. I'm not going to say the program's name because um, I don't want any backlash or anything like that or people to comment on my channel oh they helped me and all this other stuff because I realized with this doing my research with this particular program it depends on they have multiple offices around the United States so it depends on what office you're working with and the person that's actually rooting for you to get through the program um, it depends on that person and the office and all that you know so I'm not going to say the program's name um, but I, I was going through a program that helps you with down payment assistance and closing cost assistance, right? And I'm holding this paper because these are my notes. Um, I went through the program, completed it successfully. Um, I actually had money already that I could use towards my house because I've been planning for this the whole year of 2016 if you look at my videos from 2016 you can tell like every video or every other video I was saying something about a house so I was preparing myself right but if I can keep my money in my pocket and use it for new furniture or whatever you get what I'm saying so that's why I went through this program so I did everything that this program required for me to do um, Everything was in line with the program, and then I got I, one. I was set up with one counselor, which is the loan officer, um, and we really had a language barrier problem. And plus, she was a new hire, right? So things that she was supposed to do with me didn't happen because she didn't know, or she didn't understand what she was being taught because of language barriers. Um, then I got set up with another seasoned loan officer slash counselor for this program. And she was like, I don't understand why you're not done with the program already because everything looks good. So if you bought a house before, you know your your information and, and you know your um, check stubs, bank statements, all that has to go through underwriting. And underwriting approves you for your loan and stuff like that. So she immediately sent my stuff to underwriting. And when she did it, it was right around the time of Thanksgiving. So, it seemed like every day or every other day, the underwriter was sending messages to my loan officer to get me to submit something else. And then two days later, it was, you know, they're requesting something else. And I'm like, why do they keep requesting things? Now, the program did... did Required for you to have at least three thousand dollars in your bank account set aside for whatever, and I think it was like appraisal and inspection stuff like that. So you automatically that was a requirement of 
um, the program to have $3,000 in your bank account. Well, I succeeded that, which means I was over $3,000. So they just kept asking for stupid stuff. And it really dampened my spirit about going through the program and then about buying a house. It's like if I have to go through all of this just to prove that I can pay for it home, it was just weighing me low. And I know the great reward is having your own. Everybody wants to have a piece of, of real estate somewhere. You know what I mean? So, I was like, okay, Jackie, just keep going through these changes with these people. But it was getting so close to Christmas, and I wanted to be moving in my home and settled by Christmas. So, I think the last thing they asked me for was something from my apartment complex. And I lost it, you guys. I, I can't even lie to you. I lost it. And I lost it with my loan officer, which I had to go back and apologize because she could only do what they asked her to do. You know, so if they asked her to ask me for something, she has to do it. You know what I mean? So, the end of the story is I quit the program. I quit the program. I got tired of feeling like I was being jerked around. I quit the program. So, I'm still in my apartment for right now. Because, you know, I believe in God. And I know a lot of my subscribers believe in God. And, um, when I had my meltdown, because basically it was a meltdown. I'm not going to lie. It was a meltdown. Um, I just cried out to God, like, what is wrong? What am I doing? What I'm not seeing? Um, it's just not my time right now. You know, I, these are things that I was seeking God for. So, in the midst of all of that, um, my realtor turned out to be a bust. So, I did a search on, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to let this get me down. I come this far. I'm just going to find me another, um, you know, loan officer to help me, you know, get a mortgage, basically. So, I did this search online. I said, you know what, I'm going to start with a realtor first. Maybe start with a realtor first because most of the time, realtors have good relationships with um, loan officers and stuff like that. Let me just find a realtor first. So, that's, that's what I did. So I found a realtor. She was really, really nice. She took her time with me. I told her my whole story about the program and all that. And she actually said that she had worked with a couple, well, two couples that came from the same program and had the same complaints that I had. So um, she hooked me up with a loan officer at BBV Compass. I think that's how you say it. BBVP Compass or something like that. And come to find out, I qualified for a program that, a home program that they had that was 100% financing and they gave you $4,500 towards your clothing. So, that's where I'm at now. I'm working with Compass to, um, well, I already got approved by Compass. I'm just looking for a house now. And that's another thing that's upsetting me. I had, when I was in the program, I had found a home. Everything was nice. It wasn't brand new because I really don't want a brand new house because first of all, they the rooms of brand new homes are small, and I'm not gonna be paying a hundred thousand plus for small rooms. So I wouldn't say an older house, but a, a um, pre-existing home is what I'm looking for. So I had found that home. Loved it. My daughter loved it. We had been there like two or three times, you know, with the previous realtor that I had. And I was just waiting on the go from this program I was in to basically put in an offer on the house. Well, in the midst of all of that, going through that with that program, somebody else bought my house, y'all. And that was another thing that really hurt my feelings or... or Lord, just slowed me down. I just stopped, basically. So, now I'm at a place to where I know I got it. Everything's good. I just have to find a house now. And I, tr I go out looking at houses. 
and I have to stop comparing the houses that I'm looking at now to the houses that to the house that I didn't get. So that's where I'm at now. I haven't found a home that I'm like, oh, this is it. I haven't. But this is January and my my lease is up at the end of February. So I need to make something happen, you guys. Like I gotta find a house soon, like real soon. Cause I already put in my notice here, and if push comes to shove, worst come to worst, I'm gonna have to live on a month to month because I don't wanna um, sign a lease. Cause then I'm gonna be in a lease, and I don't wanna break a lease because then that messes up your credit. And I've been working too hard to get my credit to where I want it, so. Push come to shove, your girl gonna be paying month to month, and you know they charge so much money on month to month. So just keep me in your prayers, you guys. Keep your fingers crossed that I will find something by the end of the month and be ready to move. So that's the first update. The next update through all of my ordeal with the house, I stopped being vegan, y'all. It is what it is. I was doing so good. I had lost like 20 pounds. I was motivated. I was exercising. I felt good. I had more energy. And just after the whole thing with the house, I just let it go. And then the holidays came. Thanksgiving, Christmas. I just let it go. But it's hard to start back too. But I am, I am starting back on, I'm not even going to call it being vegan. I'm not. I'm just going to try to eat more plant-based. If meat every once in a while gets into my diet, then that's okay. But I don't want it to be the center of every meal that I eat. So I'm going to try to eat more plant-based. Um, another thing... I'm reading my notes. Um... In a few weeks, you will see that my channel name will be changing. Jackie, Jackie's World was something that I just started off with. Just not really thinking about the direction that I wanted to take the channel into. But um, now I know. So, the name that I have come up with is Lipsticks and More. Why, Jackie? Why? Well, if you cannot tell, I love lipstick. I love all different types of lipstick, shades, mattes, glosses, um, moisturizing, plumping lipsticks. I, I would wear lipstick before I wear a full face of makeup. But um, I was laying in the bed through all of my ordeal and I was thinking, you know, about the channel and, and how I wanted to take it in a whole different direction. But I still will be doing, you know, my Avon hauls, um, the vlogs that we do on the weekend. I'll still be doing all of that. It's just, I'm just changing my um, channel name to Lipsticks and More. Now, I have started, in one of my videos, I told you guys that I want to be a direct selling coach. So, in order for me to be a coach... I need to be coached. I need to be taught. So I found a really good um, direct direct sales mentor that is helping me get my A1 business in the direction that I want it to go into. So you will be seeing some um, a little bit of changes with my A1 hauls. But not much. I'm still going to get the stuff that I want to get. That I want to you know, show you guys. And, and demo and all that. So none of that will change. Um, but I'm going to have more. To involve you guys. Into my Avon business. So you'll see what I'm talking about. When I do an Avon haul. I'll, you know, I'll explain more about that. Um, the other thing is. Now I'm live streaming. So I'm going to be coming up with a new schedule. For my YouTube, my YouTube videos will be on Wednesdays, like they always has been. But I'm also going to start doing YouTube Live. 
I got to come up with a date and time that I'm going to be doing YouTube live. And that would be every, you know, every um, week on the same day, same time. I just got to figure it out right now because I am taking some classes right now. And so I'm just going to, you know, work all that in. I'm also going to be doing uh, Periscope Live. So if you're not on Periscope, you don't have the um, app downloaded on your phone or your tablet, I would suggest you do it. I'm already on there. Uh, you can look me up, lipsticks and more on Periscope. So I will start doing some live streaming on Periscope. Um, if you are an Instagram person, you know that Instagram now has an Instagram Live. Now, I think I'm going to try to do Instagram Live, but the only thing about that is, um, if you don't know anything about Periscope, Periscope, when you go live on Periscope, you can save your live videos to your profile. And then people can go, you know, look you up on Periscope and look at your um, videos that you have done, just like YouTube, right? But it's not an uploading type situation. You just, you go live. It's recorded live and you have a chance of saving it or you can delete it after you go live, right? But on Instagram, you can go live and then that's it. Instagram does not save your live videos. So if I go live on Instagram and nobody knows that I'm live on Instagram, you won't see it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can set up a schedule to go live on Instagram. And the only way you're going to know... It's if you're a part, if you're following me on Instagram. So I'm going to put, try to remember to put my Instagram information down below in the comment section so you can start following me. And I'm also going to put my Periscope um, username down below so you can go and follow me on Periscope. Um, I told you about the business coaching. Um, I'm writing a book. And the book is going to be about um, basically my life as a direct seller. How I got started, what motivated me to start, um, the twists and turns that I went through to be a direct seller, and um, how it can impact other people's lives to be a direct seller. So I'll let you know when the book is done. And, you know, it's ready for publishing and purchase, right? So, um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I told you about the, the name change. You will also see a banner, you guys. I'm having a banner made for my YouTube channel. I am not tech savvy. I'm not a graphics person. <laughs> if you look at my banner now, that was me. But I want to look more professional because I'm going into a more professional um, way of branding myself. Because basically that's what I'm doing. I'm, brand, I'm branding myself for my business. Um, so you're going to be seeing a new banner in a couple of weeks. Um, so I think that's it. That's all I wanted to update you on in this video. Um, you're going to start seeing some videos of me house hunting. I'm going to start recording it. So it will be like documented whenever we find this house that we're going to be living in. Um, so look for some house hunting videos. There will be another update video coming soon. Um, so I just thank you guys for hanging in there with me. I appreciate it. Please share my videos with your friends and family. Um... If you look at the videos that I have done and you know somebody that needs the information that I give out or you know somebody that um, maybe would like to purchase Avon or want to find out more about Avon, please share my videos with them. I do appreciate it. And I think that's it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.